I would love if you could explain the basics of fibroids and endometriosis and how they commonly affect women's health. So fibroids are benign um, growths in the muscular wall of the uterus, and they're very common. About 80% of women develop fibroids at some point in their life. And whether or not women have to do anything about them depends on if they're bothering you or not. When fibroids are near the lining of the uterus where the periods come from, those are the ones that are more likely to cause heavy or irregular menstrual bleeding, and they can also cause trouble getting pregnant. And then when fibroids are more on the outside and they get bigger, they can press on things that are nearby and cause pelvic pain and pressure. Um, endometriosis is different. Endometriosis is when cells that are similar to the cells in the lining of the uterus are growing outside the uterus. And we don't know how they get there. There's lots of different theories. But my favorite new theory is that maybe people are just born with the cells in the wrong place. And the problem is that every month when the lining of the uterus sloughs off and women bleed out the vagina and have a period, the endometriosis cells bleed too, but they're in the wrong space to come out the vagina. They're trapped in your belly. And blood in your belly can cause pain and inflammation. It can cause fibrosis, which is like a thickening or hardening of the tissue. And then over time, it can cause adhesions, which means organs are stuck together when they should be sliding freely. Um, that can all cause significant pain for periods, pain with intercourse, pain with bowel movements, pelvic pain, bloating, um, and also infertility.